Welcome back. In this video, uh, we in previous one we explain how we can install the Linux binary compatibility mode and how to set up the CentOS 7 version there and how to run a basic Linux application. I, I demonstrated how you can use the Sublime, which is a Linux uh, library, uh, Linux program, uh, GUI program running in the FreeBSD and successfully using it. Uh, right now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Alpine Linux uh, as a Linux environment of choice, which you can use and directly install the packages inside it and not depend on the one only supported in the FreeBSD for the CentOS. Make sure your root again, it'll make your life easier while you do this so you don't have to type all the time do as and sudo. Uh, we'll need to make the compat and since we use Linux for the CentOS and for the where FreeBSD expects this uh, uh, Linux environment to be in this case we cannot use it we need to use additional one so I'll create Alpine and uh, you need to do also Alpine dev to create a couple of more directories Alpine dev Alpine shm uh, Alpine proc and Al Alpine sys. Uh, also, you need to edit it at CF stab. Uh, just copy everything from here. And substitute Linux to Alpine. And that's basically all. Alpine, Alpine. Do we have everything required here? Yes. And let's for now manually mount them. And these file systems are here for uh, Linux compatibilities. So once we are inside this Linux environment, uh, Linux binaries will think they're actually executing on Linux instead of the FreeBSD. So, but before that, before we mount them, we need to make sure that these uh, these paths exist. If they don't exist, and you restart your computer, your uh, after bootloader and the kernel initialization, uh, you'll get the panic. And you'll be opted to go into the shell and fix uh, fix these things. If you don't properly create these uh, directories and don't to proper mount, uh, your kernel will panic, and you'll be given the chance in uh, after the boot to actually fix this, uh, so your boot process can continue. The problem that you might have is if you have the Linux kernel drivers, for example, for uh, uh, AMD. GPU, uh, you won't be able to see on screen uh, this uh, panic mode until you go and set hw.sysconst.disable equals zero and then do auto boot in the kernel. So then you'll instead of just like flashing uh, the frame buffer in the highest possible resolution, everything will be still like in, a, in the Vega mode, I think. And then you'll be able to see this panic. It happened to me, so I'm telling you, so you don't you don't end up in this situation. So the proper way is to create this, uh, to create these directories, try to manually mount them as we will in the following step, and then uh, we'll restart and make sure that everything is fine. Otherwise, we'll be in a problem. All right, so let's exit. Let's now just show what's in the compat. Uh, in Compat, there is just the Linux, and uh, if you go to, for example, dev Linux dev, uh, I'm just you'll see the already uh, dev FS mounted there. But the problem, the thing is, if you just go Compat ls Alpine, there is nothing else, there is no root uh, file system there. And basically, for that, we need uh, uh, for that, we need the uh, 
Alpine Linux uh, mini root file system. For my architecture, I use x 664 That's for AMD64 platform. Uh, in your case, you can use whatever you, you use on your platform. So download it. It's just a few uh, megabytes. It's 2.6 megabytes. Move it from downloads Alpine to Compat Alpine. Switch to Compat Alpine. And... Uh, you'll be able to see it here. And right now we just need to uh, extract it. That's all. And when we do extraction, we'll basically get, uh, I want to show you before we do that. Compact Alpine. And here is this Alpine uh, mini root FS. There are just three directories, actually mount points. And when I extract it here, I'll get the full Linux, you know, the file system required. Uh, you can delete right now Alpine uh, mini root FS. It's not really required. Disappeared. Great. And right now, uh, you will need to do, if you want to use the Linux programs from the Alpine, just ch root uh, compat Alpine uh and then just say bean sh what program you want to run from inside and this is actually alpine if you do apk and here is the thing if you do apk update you want to do fetch the latest definitions of packages it doesn't work there is a thing there is a reason why it doesn't work uh the reason why is why it doesn't work is because um, if network works that network works from inside. But the problem is uh, doesn't know how to resolve, resolve the names uh, DNS. So in order to set, just type echo name server 111 to etsy-resolve.conf. And now if you try to ping, it works. All right. So let's now do APK update. It worked. If we do APK upgrade, I want to upgrade everything. It says um, uh, executing busy box, uh, error busy box, trigger script executed with error one to seven, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's the, really the problem, but let's try to install something just to make sure there is no. There is no Python, there is no nothing here. Uh, so let's install, uh, let's install Python. If we add Python 3 debug version, uh, great. Also Python, um, let's right now call Python just to see if it works. It works, great. And you can see it says Python 3.8.5 on Linux, just to tell you, this is not virtual machine. This is the actual uh, Linux environment running on FreeBSD, almost the native speed. There is no emulation. There is nothing. The only thing that happens right now is that uh, Linux six calls are translated to BSDs one, and that's it. So right now we have Alpine Linux uh, working in as a Linux. Uh, environment on top of FreeBSD. Uh, you can do the regular stuff that you use Alpine. You mostly use Alpine for your uh, server code. And this is the reason why I choose the Alpine. And also another reason is why it doesn't depend on the system D. So we can do some uh, uh, like some integrations like service calling service between the FreeBSD and Alpine in the way that's uh, it's going to work uh, probably in one of the next videos. I'll cover how you can run the GUI applications from inside of Linux, this environment to uh, uh, FreeBSD. Uh, let's do a proper update of Alpine and upgrade if there is anything to be upgraded. And uh, that's all, folks. Uh, subscribe if you haven't uh, and see you in my next video. Stay safe and stay good. Goodbye.